After the is it already going? Yep, it's already gone. How come you're zoomed out? So. Okay. Rule number two. James. James. Don't drop the birds. Nothing will stop them from doing this. Out like this so they get a hold of it, okay? So if you're with a small child that wants to do the dollar bill trick, please assist them by holding their wrist and making sure their arm doesn't drop out from underneath the bird when the bird tries to land on them. If you want to give Jack a dollar bill, she loves to do the dollar bill trick. She gets a sunflower seed every time she collects a dollar also. What age do starlings learn to talk? I imagine they can learn to talk throughout drop their it? life. But I couldn't tell you exactly what starlings age is. I haven't had much experience. Crows are probably like macaws and, and it go? parrots in the sense that they're going to learn best at a young age, probably. You know, if they're around people. Same thing with us. We learn to speak. Thank you, sir. Uh, at a young age. Oh. So you, when he grabs it, you got to let, let him have it. Don't just drop it, hey, though. Is, he had it. Do I do anything with the hyacinths? The hyacinths right now are here learning to be calm out Hold here. It. Try, okay. try That's this. what the cages are here for. For like them to learn how to be calm. Right there. Yeah. Hold it the bottom and I here. see Claire has found it up to the rigging there again. You go. Her boyfriend Clarence down here in the cage uh, is a little bit too nervous out here so I don't have him loose. Claire's a little bit more calm there. This is their first time at a fair like this, so they are, this is all very, you know, kind of exciting and overwhelming, all these people here and everything. So their job is to just get comfortable being here. The rose-breasted cockatoos in the cage over here have been flying outside for the last uh, three months. They're good flyers, but uh, not at a fairground yet, right? Too many distractions and crazy things. They have to get comfortable being here. That's why they're in the cages, to see you not so much for you to see them, but their job is to see you and get comfortable with all of this. And it holds just like that, James. You're up higher if you want. And again, also if you like the pirate music we were playing, don't at the wave it. Just hold that one. Pirate hey, CDs available. You're holding it edgeways today. Music hold it up CDs. flat. There you go. Like that. So like there you go. They're Fifteen dollars a piece. We have three of them right now. We're out of the fourth one. Do I think the African Grey is the smartest parrot? No, I don't. I mean, uh, they're smart birds, yes, but they're, there's lots of very smart parrots. In fact, if I were to, from my own personal experience with parrots, I'm going to give the uh, blue throats the, the top of the uh, smartness category because they, they, they open our cages with other birds in them and they go in and out of them at will. Um, you know, you walk by and you'll go, wait a minute, how come there's a blue throat in that cage? That cage is supposed to not have a blue throat in it. I smell something good. And a little while later, you walk back by and they're not in there anymore. It, it's, they are really smart birds. People with cameras, you're welcome to take pictures. Just let me know, we'll turn around and get a better picture. Yeah, they're getting the ones that are closer. Hang in there, James. He'll be, he already got it the once, but I'm going. I had him on the film too. Hey, me two hands up like this. Two hands, two and pirate. That means both. James, what's this mean? What does that say? REC record? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's a battery is dying or something or what. Go pet the white one. You're welcome. Whew, I got this jacket off. Really? Life is a pirate. <laughs> Oregon duck got a parrot on his head. All right, Jack. Go bet the white one. Go ahead and go down there, James. To rescue birds to tame and train to this level? Well, I can usually tame a bird that comes to me fairly quickly if I put the time and energy into it. As far as free flight training goes, in the 20 years I've been doing this, I've been flying birds for almost 20 years now, and 
the birds that I raise from babies and float, I've not lost any depredation. I've lost a couple of the accidents, such as uh, power lines, electrocution at a fair. We had the 